going everybody? So we're back out of the shop with another daily vlog and guys I was expecting to go ahead and make a sheath for this right here but all the colors that I have are uh, FDE flat dark earth or coyote brown uh, tan color plus we have the OD green which is like an olive drab green color and then we have black and I'm gonna be real with you I don't think that any of those maybe the black would but None of those would really do this knife any justice. So I think I need to order some cool Kydex that we haven't worked with yet. And I've got to wait for that stuff to get here. So tonight I'm going to order that. And whenever it comes in, we'll actually do the sheath for this. But until then, we're going to start the next build. And then as soon as the material comes in, we'll go ahead and make a sheath for this. But I think y'all are going to agree with me that this deserves a really sick sheath and that's what I want to do. I want to do it justice. I don't want to just make a sheath for the sake of making a sheath to put out video content because I don't think y'all really want that. I think that y'all want me to make things that make sense and y'all want me to put the time in where I create awesome stuff instead of mediocre stuff. So no mediocre sheath for this. We're going to do a badass sheath but I need to get that stuff in and uh I don't think y'all are going to be angry with what we're going to start. Boom. We're going to start working on the Hunter. This is going to be awesome. What I'm going to go ahead and do, we're going to go over to the workbench. We're going to break down why I designed this knife the way that I designed it and what steel we're going to be putting it on. So let's jump over there. Let's get that started. Let's have a talk. All right, so before I start, I'm gonna go ahead and darken the outline of this so y'all can see it way better. So this is the knife that we're going to be working on. And we of course are going to be using some nice 5160 leaf spring material. Now this is just how it looks right now. So I went ahead, cut it off of the leaf spring that we were, uh, you know, using as the, the donor metal. And uh, this is 5160. I did my research uh, on the particular vehicle that we were using this off of and they verified, yes, 5160 spring steel. Now, it does have that leaf spring bow to it, so I will have to forge that flat. And then I think we are going to go ahead and texturize this as well so that the area right here where the Ricasso and the top part is, it has that nice hammer finish. I really like that, and I think that that is just a really cool aesthetic. So we're going to do that on this one as well. I figure in that most of my 5160 uh, spring steel knives will probably have that texture. It'll be kind of like a going theme for the Rivers Experience knives with the spring steel. But I don't think y'all have any issue with that. I think y'all like that. So that's what we're going to go with. Now, why I chose this as opposed to just doing 1095 or 1080 or 01 tool steel. For one, I have the steel. Two, I know how well this holds up for chopping. And I think that something that is going to be a bigger hunter knife, I think that it needs to be a type of steel that can just really withstand all of that. And even though, I mean, 1095 can withstand plenty of abuse, tons of abuse, probably even more abuse than this. But I know how this works. And... I think that this still looks really good whenever I do my particular acid etch and stone wash and all that. So that's why, again, we're going with this right here. Now, when it comes to overall dimensions, let's go ahead and let's cut this out and see what we have here.
So there we go. It's going to have a good length handle on it. It's going to have a good length blade. But let's actually go in and figure out what these measurements are. So for the blade, we're going to be right at four and three quarters. So the blade's going to be four and three quarters of an inch. The handle right at about four and a half inches. Nope, it's closer to four and three quarter. There we go. So four and three quarter of an inch handle, four and three quarter of an inch blade. And the reasoning behind the shape of this knife. Now, I wanted to make sure that I had a good belly on the blade. And then, let's show this up here. So I wanted to make sure that we had a good belly on the blade and just a nice little up sweep and a good drop point. And then we went with the handle shape that is going to be really contoured like we did our chopper. So it's not going to be, it's not going to be as contoured as this when it comes to like the way that I shaped it, but it is going to have the swells right here for your palm. It is going to flare towards the back. You can see where this comes in, swells out, comes back in, and this flares back out. We are going to have that on this knife. It's just, we're going to build it to where it is perfect for your hand for all kinds of use. So if you need to chop with this, if you need to slice with it, if you need to do pretty much anything, that is what we're going to do here. And then we are going to do three pin holes and then we're going to do a lanyard hole up here. We're going to taper the scales so that the lanyard actually is recessed in. So you don't feel that whenever you're holding the knife and have the lanyard there. We're going to do a grind that goes up probably about just over three quarters of the blade. So it's not going to be a full flat grind. We're going to leave a 90 degree edge on the spine there for striking a ferrule rod. And it does have a little bit of a recess right here. So the handle bows up drops down and comes around so you get a nice good area for your thumb to rest in right there love the way this is going to look on the steel and i mean that is going to be a big knife we're right at about nine and a half inches overall length so it's not a small knife it's not a huge knife it's not as big as the chopper, which of course that one was 11 inches, but nine and a half inches long, that is a good size knife. Um, but I really wanted to break down, you know, why I decided to do this, of course, a little bit different than the chopper. The chopper would make a great hunting knife, but it's just a very large knife. And it does have that recurve on the belly here. This, I just wanted to leave it straight and have that nice up sweep more of a classic knife shape. And uh, so we're gonna be doing, of course, classic knife shape, but contoured, real comfortable handle on it. And I think that this is gonna turn out absolutely awesome. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing that hammer finish on it. We're going to, uh, and this time I'll actually show the, the footage of me forging it flat, doing the hammer finish, and then having to forge it flat again, because whenever we do that hammer finish, uh, it does kind of make it a little wavy, so we're going to be forging it flat again after that. But this is going to be a sweet looking knife. It's going to be made super sturdy, super strong. And again, I just wanted to break down why I made some of the decisions that I did on this. And I'll tell y'all, if y'all are going to design a knife, again, just try and think through the type of things that the knife is going to be used for. I know that this is going to be used to be batoned through some wood 
again that's one of the reasons why I did the blade as long as it was so for kindling that is two and a half to three inches you can still get a full hammer blow on the top right here so for one it's got to be sturdy enough so that you can hammer on this tip and not snap it off so uh, we wanted a length to be perfect for that we wanted to make sure we had a 90 degree spine so it was real easy at throwing sparks with the ferro rod uh, we wanted to make sure that it had a very comfortable handle because knives like this are going to be used at a campsite and for hunting and you're going to really 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 use this knife this is not going to be a wall hanger this is not going to be a knife that you just wear to walmart this is going to be a knife that you would use to put in work so it's got to be comfortable in the hand it's got to make sense and again think that through don't just make a knife for the sake of it being pretty make a knife that's going to be used and worked with and that's what i try and do whenever i go through this and again like i said i know that not everyone is great at drawing i use a lot of different things whenever i make these i mean i've got lots of like i said little things that i've drawn out that i take cues from like the handle let's see what we got here so this is another one that i'm going to be making this is an edc version of that knife that i made if you remember that one but we're going to be doing that one at a certain point but that's an edc version just a little bit scaled down version of this knife but this handle right here is pretty much the handle that we're using on the hunter knife the difference is we've got a beefier longer blade as opposed to this one that had a little bit shorter blade so you know i take design characteristics off of knives that i've made and i know how they feel in the hand and i know what they feel like whenever you're working with them and i use that so again it's all about thinking about what you're going to be using it for and then if you've made a few knives in the past knowing how those grips feel in the hand and the ergonomics and just trying to base your decisions on things that you know that work you know even if you've got to grab one of the knives that you bought from somewhere put it in your hand see how it feels and take some of the characteristics from that knife i would suggest going ahead and doing it and you know use some of the cool things from there but then make the blade your own that's what i do with all of these guys right here but that's it this is what we're going to be working on and i'm excited about this i think this is going to be a fun knife i think y'all are going to absolutely love this and it's a perfect week to start this knife build so there we go let's hop back up let's get this video finished out all right so let's go ahead and wrap up today's daily vlog now i know it would have been awesome to make the sheath for this but if you don't have the right materials to do what you want to do don't do it don't just half-ass something and make it just for the sake of doing it for other people you know i love y'all and i thank y'all for coming by and watching all these but i think that y'all appreciate the fact that i do the things the way that i do them so we're gonna hold off on that one we're gonna do it right because that's what we do now I don't think y'all are really going to mind that much because a lot of y'all have been asking me to do this build. Y'all have been really, really, really excited about it. So I figured, hey, might not be doing that, but at least we're doing this. And guys, what we're going to do in next video is we're going to forge it flat, do the texture, cut it out, get it to this shape right here. And uh, some of y'all might be going, why don't you just forge it to shape? Because I don't really want to do that. I, I like doing it the way that I do it. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, I don't really feel the need to forge it to shape right now. The cool thing is, uh, this is my shop. The other shop is my shop. And I'm going to make knives the way that I like to make knives, not the way someone else likes to make knives. You know, they're a creator, they're a maker, they're, you know, people that make knives the way they make knives, but not everybody makes knives the same way. You know, sometimes you only make a knife with uh, 1 by 30 
and really simple hand tools like angle grinders or files and stuff like that and just because you make knives that way doesn't mean you're any less of a knife maker than people who forge them out and do that stuff not everybody has a forge not everybody has an anvil not everybody has you know the hammers and all that stuff some people do things the way that they do it because that's the way they want to do it and i appreciate you doing the things the way that you want to do them i'm not going to tell y'all how to make y'all's knives so you can suggest how you want me to make knives, but you can't tell me how to make them. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go ahead. Let's end this one. Thank y'all for coming by. If you would, give this video a thumbs up. Share this video or a video I've done in the past that might be your favorite. And if you would, bottom corner, hit that subscribe button so you get notified for when we start working on this. Thanks again for coming by. Thanks for spending your time with me. Y'all have an amazing day. I'll see y'all tomorrow.